My name is Mairead Brady and I'm an Associate Professor at the Trinity Business School and I'm also the Director of the Joint Honours Programmes Computer Science and Business, Law and Business and Business and Languages. I'm presenting today on behalf of myself and Professor Omar Garcia, who is the Professor of Spanish 1926 and Hispanic Studies uh, and the Business Studies and Languages Coordinator based at the School of Languages, Literatures and Cultural Studies. This is the BBS Language Honours Bachelor's Degree NFQ a level eight and I'd be delighted to virtually welcome you to Trinity College though it would be lovely if we were able to actually welcome you here on campus. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to give you a little overview of the Trinity Business School and then I'll give you an overview of the School of Languages, Literatures and Cultural Studies. I provided you with four images here. On the left, you have two images of the arts block where the School of Languages is based. And that's where you would spend about 50% of your time if you were here with us in Trinity. I've given you a day and a night time view of the arts block. On the right, you have the Trinity Business School, and this is a 70 million euro investment in the state of an art of the arts business school. And it's nestled down there past the rugby pitch. The evening view is when it fronts on to Pier Street, and you can see that it showcases a leading edge business school based in the heart of Dublin city. A little introduction to Trinity itself, some facts and figures, though I'm sure you're quite familiar with Trinity. The main points, I suppose, are it's the first, number one university in Ireland, it's 101st in the world, and it was built in 1592. So even though we have some very modern buildings like the Trinity Business School, more relatively modern buildings like the Arts Block, we also have some very old buildings and a cobblestoned campus that is really beautiful and an incredible, enjoyable place to spend your years studying. So what can we tell you about the Trinity Business School? Well, it's a very large school and it has a very large undergraduate programme with the best programme that you might be familiar with, the Global, Global Business Programme. And we have about 1,340 business students across 12 programmes of which you would be one. We also have about 12 master's programmes and MBA students with around 900 to 1000 uh, master's students on the Trinity campus for the Trinity Business School at any at any one time. We also are a research school and have an enormous number of research students and PhD students numbering about 70 plus. We also have about 70 plus academic staff and you can see them there standing on the iconic staircase in the new Trinity building. To the right of that, I have provided you with a list of the of some of the rankings that Trinity enjoys on the world stage. And Trinity Business School is a doubly accredited business school, making it one of the top 1% of business schools worldwide. If you were joining us, the programme pillars are business, which are in the colours, and languages, which is in the white below. They're around a 50-50 break, but we allow you to choose among the different pillars. So you could decide if you want to do accounting, strategy and marketing, operations management and ICT, or what sort of student you want to become during your time here with us at Trinity. How that happens is that we, we pillar the students through four, the four years and the four levels. In the first year, we mandate a certain subjects so that you learn the fundamentals of business and your language. In second year, we start to allow more choice and you broaden your knowledge in business and advance your language skills. By year three, you've moved away from the context and you're moving into the expertise or the learning by doing. And in year three, you have a one year exchange learning in your language of choice. By year four, you're deepening your experience. And when you return to us here in Trinity from your, your year abroad, you will take advanced modules in different um, subjects and you will complete a capstone research project in the language of your degree. The School of Languages, Literatures and Cultural Studies is also a reasonably large school and it has a variety of different departments, including French, Germanic studies, Hispanic studies, Irish and cultural languages, the Russian and the Slavonic studies and near Middle Eastern studies and a variety of other other uh, departments. It also hosts the Centre for or has the, the department which has the Centre for European Studies. 
The language coordinators are language coordinators for each subject um, air, uh, language area exists in French, in German, in Polish, in Russian and in Spanish. And each of them manage the business and French or business and German or the business and component, um, the language component of the business and component of this degree. So how do you get the most out of your degree here at Trinity? The first is that we will provide you with the management experience and the business experience that you need. And you also will develop your foreign language, particularly through your study abroad, but also while you're here in Trinity. We also have availability for ACCA and ACA exemptions, which are accounting exemptions, which some students might be interested in. We like to concentrate on the student here at Trinity and we like to focus on your personal development as a student and you like to focus on your career development and where you'd like to go after you leave Trinity. So we have a range of activities and supports in that domain, focusing on how you develop and, uh, and support yourself as you go through your time here with us. We do, as I said before, allow this idea of a pick and mix and a range of modules and optional modules available for you from across the university, but particularly from within the subject area that you wish to study. So the idea here of your degree will be that there will be an element of choosing the different um, subject areas or module choices that you would like to um, participate in uh, during your years with us, particularly in the sophister years, which are year three and year four. The study abroad in your third year is a very important component of your time with us here. We have a longevity of relationships with a variety of universities across the world, but particularly within Europe and the Erasmus programme to which you would want you would be a member. We have our Trinity currently has 247 Erasmus partner universities across Europe and over 350 further agreements. You always have to attend your modules in the country of your and uh, the language that you are participating in. So you will have a range of opportunities and available universities in the top universities across Europe. The CAO points are always of interest to you and I've listed them there for you. You nestle into our kind of our cohort of business degrees, a uh, business and degrees, which all have uh, similar, similar points. And um, obviously the 20, 20 points will be, will, will be different. So, and finally, what we would really like to do is obviously to welcome you here to Trinity and let you walk in onto the arch, which is a great experience. Whether you do it in person, which we hope would happen, or whether it's virtual, it is a wonderful experience. And it would have been lovely to have you here for open day so that you could experience the campus yourself. But what you will be thinking about as well is your degree and what will happen when you leave Trinity. And it's those years in between that we hope you'd have, you would enjoy yourself here at Trinity that you would learn, you would engage and you would be very happy to leave us with a, from a world-renowned university with a wonderful degree. On behalf of myself, Marie Brady and um, Omar Garcia from the School of Languages, Linguist, uh, Literatures and Cultural Studies, I hope that this has helped you to make your decision. I'd like to thank you very much for your time and say goodbye now.